this lecture, we use an example with a six-sided die to illustrate a relationship of set algebra. The example we use is a problem from the first chapter of the textbook Introduction to Probability by Dmitri Bertsikas and John Sitsiklis. We'd like to continue our introductory discussion of set properties by looking at another simple example that uses a familiar six-sided die to illustrate a property of set algebra. So what we like to do is think about rolling one six-sided die and we'll define two sets. One set A is the set of outcomes where the roll is an odd number. Set B is the set of outcomes where the roll is less than four and what we'd like to do is calculate both sides and verify this equality in this situation. This equality tells us that the complement of the intersection of those two sets is the union of three sets. The first set is the complement of A intersected with B. The second set is the intersection of the complement of A and the complement of B. And the third set is the intersection of A with the complement of B. Now this is a problem from the textbook Introduction to Probability by Dmitri Bertsikas and John Sitsiklis. Now for rolling this simple six-sided die, the six possible outcomes are the face showing one dot, two, three, four, five, or six. Now the fundamental sets we'll look at are the set A, which are the odd numbers, one, three, five, so an outcome that we see one of those odd numbered dots. The complement of that set which are all the outcomes that are not, do not represent odd numbers, two, four, six. The set B, all of the outcomes where the number of dots are less than four, one, two, three. And the complement of B, where they're not less than four, that would be four, five, six. So now when we want to take a look at this equality Let's first look at the left side, which is the complement of the intersection of A with B. So let's begin by taking a look at the set A, which is the odd, outco odd numbered outcomes, one, three, five. The set B, all of those outcomes where the number of dots are less than four. And then the intersection of those two sets would be any outcome that's covered by both. In that case, it's the outcomes one and the outcome three. The complement, then, would be anything that's not covered by both, and that, or the out, that would represent the outcomes two, four, five, six. So the complement of the intersection of A with B is two, four, five, six. It's the set with those four outcomes. Now let's take a look at each of the individual sets that we're going to ultimately take their union on the right side. First we'll take a look at the intersection of the complement of A with B. The complement of A would be the even outcomes, two, four, six. B are the outcomes less than four. And the intersection of those would be anything covered by both, which is the outcome two. Next, we'll take a look at the intersection of the complement of A with the complement of B. Again, the complement of A, two, four, six. The complement of B, the set of outcomes, four, five, six. Those outcomes covered by both sets are the outcomes four and six. Finally, we'll look at the set A intersected with the complement of B. A, those odd outcomes, one, three, five. The complement of B, four, five, six. The intersection of those two, anything covered by both, is only the outcome five. So now, again, we previously determined that the complement of the intersection of A with B 
with a set of outcomes 2, 4, 5, 6. On the right side we just determined that the intersection of the complement of A with B is 2, the intersection of the complement of A with the complement of B is 4, 6, the intersection of A with the complement of B is 5, so if we take the union of those three sets we'll have 2, 4, 6, 5, which is in fact the four elements that were in our original calculation for the complement of the intersection of A with B. So this is a simple example using a simple familiar six-sided die that shows how we can verify an important relationship of set algebra for intersections and unions of sets.